Hey everybody, this is Heath from the Quest. We've got uh, our fundraising rescues here now. And uh, the first one uh, we did in South America. Uh, with the new fundraiser coming up, we received much needed funds to conduct a larger rescue. We picked several locations and began monitoring them. It came down to a couple places. Uh, one was in, or two in Asia and one in South America. South America is new to our team and uh, for the quest. I have personally worked there for other reasons, but for me, one of them led to uh, rescuing kids being taken for the purpose of sex trafficking and or to be sold. I have previously written about uh, these conditions in my book in Operation Z. Yeah, I have a book. It's a little dark, right? So if you buy it, be prepared. Um, I just couldn't help but tell what I actually saw and witnessed and felt. So anyway, um, so we uh, we found a few orphanages that uh, we had vented and secured uh, nearby and some nearby safe houses. Uh, the child brothel we were watching contained as many as 25 girls ages 7 to 14. Its uh, guards varied from 2 to 5 uh, with regular shifts. Its location was remote and that was good for us. Yet these brothels that are remote, they either cater to locals or high-end clients for obvious reasons. Uh, this one was the latter, and its location was to our advantage due to one road in and one road out. Uh, also, the building was located at the foot of a steep mountain, and again, to our advantage. So we called the mission on, and at this time there were no visitors and only two guards. We set up watches, uh, watchers on the mountain uh, where they could see any traffic on foot or transport. We then blocked uh, the road in and out and would not allow anyone in or out. It was raining so the road uh, would be a challenge uh, and uh, we would exit in one direction uh, to the safe houses. On this day, uh, we had a full house with uh, an extra two girls. We were guessing her timing was outstanding due to the increased kids. Um, they must be expecting a lot of traffic is what we, what we figured out. Um, next, we positioned our team uh, that would be making the rescue at the North Road, or Ro North Road um, and Roadblock it uh, just a short uh, way in so they uh, could not be uh, seen by anyone traveling the road. For the next five hours, we stopped and detained seven travelers, and some looked out of place. There was a lot of money dripping from them, and uh, they tried to bribe the team. Bribery seems to be a common response to them. We chose not to, of course, uh, and they would be released at the end of our mission. Uh, our rescue team had a female commander along with a few nuns uh, from the area that we had been working with. Uh, this was the nuns first rescue with us and they were a bit nervous but they were calmed down by the commander with some kind words and getting them to focus on what we were about to do. We were going to save some kids you know and so uh, our watchers were able to see the two guards and advise our commander. It was on and the rescue transports were on the move. The road was active now, with our team ready for extraction. Uh, we had it covered. As uh, as this was taking place on the South Road Lock, the three guards, three of the guards that were going to work at the the brothel showed up. They were identified and secured. They would have not been there at this time, according to our surveillance. So as it goes, we were prepared. The guards uh, were immediately taken to the brothel and left. Uh, with the other guards. Everyone near the brothel moved in, uh, taking down the guard uh, that was outside. We knocked on the door to get the other guard's attention, and uh, he just walked out right uh, to us, totally not knowing what just happened. Um, then the team entered the brothel. The brothel was deadly quiet. It had 12 bedrooms. All the doors were shut and locked. Uh, we began to inspect for any booby traps, uh, but all was found to be safe. We interrogated the guards, and one of them was very talkative. 
the other guards uh, were put to sleep and uh, or put to sleep early. The talkative one told us how they worked. Uh, when the client arrived, they would bring uh, the very frightened girls out one by one until they had picked one or two or three. Also, we found the brothel to be completely full of drugs. Uh, it was going to be used also as a drug supply house. Uh, we got the keys uh, and uh, began to get the kids out. We were on a time schedule, uh, so it uh, scared the girls a little bit, as usual. But they were so weak from no food that uh, they were moved easily. But some had to be carried. Many had wounds, and from what we could tell, the wounds were be from being beaten. We moved all, uh, all of them to the five transports we had waiting. We had an extra transport in case we got stuck on the road out. The roadblocks were uh, to the exit were open. All the captives were set free. We knew these kids uh, were in bad shape, but we were confident that there was uh, physically nothing uh, that could not be healed. Their fear uh, and mental abuse would take longer to heal, but with love and care, they were on their way to recovery. After we passed the roadblock, the southern one was open, but still being watched for any traffic uh, that we would have to deal with. All the guards were put to sleep, uh, declothed, and then tied together. Uh, it, I'm sure it was going to be uh, interesting when they were found, but uh, we would not be there to see it. They had to be located uh, a ways from the house because we had no choice but to burn it, uh, to destroy all the drugs. So many, my God, you wouldn't believe it. Um, I could see it everywhere in the house as the rescue was underway. Next, the girls were taken to uh, safe houses, but along the way, one of the girls, uh, six years old, had to be uh, resuscitated, and uh, we had, had taken to an uh, alternative safe house due to her condition. Three of the girls wanted to stay with her while the rest moved on. Even though these kids were abused and you know I, you, you, I just can't even imagine their mental state they still felt for this other one that they really didn't even know and wanted to stay with her which was a great idea but we would not have asked them of that uh, so they stayed um, while everybody else moved on the girls needed to be uh, hooked up or the girl needed to be hooked up to an IV uh, to bring her vitals up. The others were examined by local doctors and all would need further treatment, but they were good enough to travel. They, as always, as we always do, were fed, bathed, and given new clothes. The, good, the girls did not know any of the other girls uh, because during their time there, they had never met the others except in lineups. Uh, we had no shadows following us and we, they made it to their new homes. Our guards had already been there uh, for a month. The girls were all now safe and the healing for them could begin now. Thanks to all of you that, that made this possible. We saved kids. <laughs> Not just one, but several. So we rescued 27 uh, on this one. That brings uh, our total rescues uh, up to 1,929. So anyway, thanks all of you. Thanks so much. See you later.